having another boys weekend away. This one's going to be an absolute cracker. So I just, I'm late actually. I've arrived and there's a couple of guys down over there. Just parked in the corner and then we got beautiful 997 Carrera S there, Scott's car. And then Barry's done a bit of gear work on his car. He's got his livery and his wheels painted. Looks incredible. And further up the street, we've got the rest of the guys. They're already in there having a coffee and something to eat. So you've got to understand, like Porsche people would understand this. This is the beginning of a two-day trip with the boys in the Porsches. We're staying overnight in the bush. We've got a lot of back roads and sort of B roads that we're going to uh, peruse, challenging roads. Um, and, you know, how good does it get? Any one of you guys out there would know exactly what I'm talking about. 10 or 11 mates, all in Porsches. Or except one guy, actually. We've got a... We got a Mustang over there. He's still waiting on a windscreen. With what's going on with the scandemic, like it's really hard uh, to get parts from uh, Europe. So everyone's waiting for windscreens. It's crazy. Uh, so he's got his Mustang. Well, that's okay. Uh, but he's a Porsche guy at heart. He's got a beautiful Cayman S. It's pretty. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go and grab a cup of coffee and have something to eat and uh, let the fun begin. This is just going to be soul, soul gratifying, utopian weekend away. Before I go in, I just saw one of my other mates. Rookie over there, he's got a 911 50, a 911 50. Oh my goodness, this car. Woo -hoo, I could have one of those in a heartbeat, eh? There's a guy just back around there. All ready to go. Now going with the cop here. just so happy. Day one, day one of two days of epic driving. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm here with Brady. Hey, Brady, how are you, mate? Good to see you, Brady. Uh, I was just, just, just going to ask you a quick question. What are, you, what are your expect, expectations for the next uh, couple of days of driving, mate? A lot of fun, a lot of excitement, a lot of beers. <laughs> yeah, but not all at the same time, right? No, no, yeah. no. Alright, well, that's, that's what Brett expects. Fun, excitement, and beers. Funny, that's what I expect as well. So, and guess what? It's going to happen. <laughs> Go for it. Well, we've stopped. We've had a bit of a traffic stop. We uh, had a really good run on that road, but we came across a, uh, a slow-moving vehicle, and it wasn't worth, you know, wasn't worth, uh, you know, passing him. So we had to wait. But here we're out here. Uh, one of the guys uh, runs a bakery, or he's a, he's a, yeah, he runs a big bakery actually, and he's bought some pretzels along. So it's going to have a bit of a bite to eat. Look at those cars lined up over there, eh? I mean, come on, how good is it, mate? We went through some fog and that. Ah, oh, mate, this is just paradise. No one around. Just us, the cows and the Porsches, which is what it's all about. Check it out. Some lads over there. Anyway, we'll have a pretzel. Go Porsche. Hey, Barry. Oh, we're looking at Rick's livery, are we? His racing stripes are cheaper than yours. They're free. <laughs> <laughs> Three finger race. Yeah. I could actually put my lights on them. <laughs> well, you should write on the on the door, Rick. Is that GT3? <laughs> <laughs> Touring. Oh, it's a Touring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got the most spoiler, mate. Barry's new livery. <laughs> that that's turned up. That's turned up really good. Thanks, You did a great job. Well, so, Barry, what Barry's done here is he's he's painted his um, rims. You left the calipers red, they were red before, weren't they? And he's got that, that livery on there. There's Barry. Hey, Barry. 
and um, it just looks awesome. I'm glad. Did, was the carbon fibre on the air intakes yep. always there? No, I did not. Yeah, I you did, did that as well? Yeah. And you've also done the edges of the wing, yeah. the rear end plates. Mate, front. that looks... I did. Like, I must admit, I had my reservations when he showed me the pictures, but this car looks sick. He's got the grill in there as well. Oh. Carbon fibre front grill. Carbon fibre front grill. I've run out of things to do. Well, I'll be dipped in cocky shit. Well, you, all you need to do is uh, put a supercharger yeah, put, in it. I'll put that heat car on myself. What about, a, what about a sunroof? You know how long that took me? I was committed as well. Yeah, well, it always takes you a long while when it's your car because uh, you put an extra time into it. It just looks beautiful. I mean, this is a Series 1, 991, which, which is made, really, when they bought out the Series 2, they already knew, I think, that they were going to do this to the back of the car because that looks ridiculous. This is one of the best 9-on-1s on the road. It's even got that little strip there, which which they knew about this design language moving forward for the 992 as well, I reckon. And you can see you've got the little grill there, which is very, very reminiscent of the older cars, which is great, because don't forget this is a homage to the 50th anniversary of the 911. But it's got that little line. Now, it's not, it's not a light. It looks like an air intake. I don't know if it's real or not. I have to have a closer look. But... But it looks like a, you know, like the old 4S's with the, with the strip along the so, along the back of the Targa. Um, you know, it just presents really well. The lights just look a little bit meaner with that strip. It sort of completes the light feature on the 2. And now we're seeing it in the 992. And this was 2013, this car, 14. Um, I think it's a 13 compliant. I, I, I don't know. I'll have to check. But anyway, so, you know, that's what I love about Porsche. They know what their cars are going to look like years in advance. And they just sort of bring it out to us, bits and pieces here and there, which kind of like the little kids and the mum and dad are just giving us a, a little snack of Porsche, another little snack of Porsche. And that's what keeps us interesting, right? Plus, of course, these empty roads where we can just drive like, um, like you know, drive the vehicles the way they were engineered to be driven uh, within, the, within the boundaries, of course. Um, so, yeah, the 91150, and I go from this side over here. It's, it's just beautiful. This one's got the hound's tooth. Look at that. I mean, you gotta you gotta hand it to Rookie. He he knows what he he knows what he likes and he buys what he likes and good on him, mate. He's a real lad for that. And he brings them out on drives as well. It's not a garage queen, eh? Beautiful. I want one. Of course I do.